Okay. Good afternoon, guys. It's Al from Auto One Brands Planes. Uh, uh, w welcome to uh, Ask Al Episode 6. Uh, yeah, so we've got a few questions this week, so uh, let's get on with it. Okay. I have a KJ Warrington. Hi there, Al. I have a question about leaving these on your sub tank. I have the ZD30 on, and I'm using the liquid molly diesel cleaner boost in just about every tank I fuel. Now, how long can I leave fuel in a sub tank until it's no good? Um, I have a sub tank in my car. I, I, whenever I fill it up, I always use my sub tank first, then I use my main tank wherever I'm going. That way I'm using the sub first so there's no leftover fuel in it. Um, shouldn't be a worry leaving it for at least a month or two. Um, obviously, uh, summertime it's a lot better because there's less condensation inside. As you get on to winter, it's a bit cooler and you get condensation. So, um, if you leave it for a pretty long time, we do sell a product called Stable, stable uh, Fuel Additive. So you can leave it in there a bit longer. But, yeah, but generally, um, I, I never fill up the sub tank if I'm around town. I just fill up the main tank, just use it as I go. It's only when I go on long trips, but I'll only use the sub tank first. So, but I can't see it being a problem leave for a month or two. No worries. Okay, I have a, um, a Josh Day. Hi Al, what's the best way to wash a new car? Pressure washer or two ho a, a, a simple hose and a two bucket rule? What I normally do is, I mean, obviously I've got a Land Cruiser, but I do have a brand new car as well at home. I've just got a brand new Honda. Um, what I normally do is I just wash, I gurdy off the top layer of my car off, so I can get all the excess dust or grit and grime off. Then I use this stuff called a snow job. It's made by Bowden's. So um, it's, it, what he does is he applies like a foam all over the car, so um, you use it in your gurney and puts it over the car. It's just like so when you put on the when you put on on the car, you're washing the top layer off the dirt off. So you don't um, you know when you I normally wash it off, put that on, apply with the snow job, gurney it off. So you're just taking the top layer off. Then um, then I use the two two uh, the bucket for two sponge rule. So that way you're not wiping grit and dirt over the paint of the car. So this snow job is really good stuff. So yeah, so you, yes, you can use a gurney, take the top layer off, all the dust and grit off, then use the sponge. That's why I'll go, buddy. All right. I have a, um, a Dudley Graps. A uh, synthetic oil is really that important if you change your oil every 5,000 Ks for newer cars. Uh, yes, it is because you have to use the specification of your grade for your make and model of your car. So if your um, if your car's a fairly new car and it's it's uh, recommended synthetic oil, obviously because the, they go by grading with all the additives in it. So yes, even if you're changing it 5,000 Ks instead of 10,000 Ks, if you have to use it for um, the special specification of your car, vehicle make model. So yes, it is important to use the right oil for your car. You can't put old mineral oil in a synthetic car if it's not made for it because it hasn't got the right additives. Okay, I've got a uh, Steve Bolton. How do you run wires for a rear spotlight on your roof cage on an 80 series? Um, I took my roof cage off. I took my roof cage off, but I've got roof bars on, but I've got to rerun the wires. Um, on my 80 series, I ran it up the B pillar, and I tucked, I tucked it up through the top of the door, and then stuck, stuck it up there. Um, if you come around this side, I cut the wire off because I took the cage off. But this gives you an idea. Wire half hanging here. It does, doesn't harm. It doesn't crimp it. Just gives a bit of twinkle wire. Tuck it up and under like that. And up, to, up to the. That's how I ran it. But um, it doesn't doesn't harm the wire. But I've just tucked it back in because I've taken my roof off. So I've I've had it on there for quite a while. Never had a problem with it. You can use the, you can up the A pillar, the B pillar, or the back section one. So yeah, that's how you'd run it. That's how I've ran it. We have a uh, Andrew Gray. Funny one, this one. If a buttered piece of toast always lands on its buttered side down, and a cat always lands on its feet, so what would happen if you attach the piece of toast to the cat? So if the cat lands on its feet, the toast the hands face down, they both land down properly. So that's what I reckon. Alrighty. So this week's prize was our first runner-up was a, um, a Penrose rim cleaner plus a stubby cooler and second, second runner up was just a stubby cooler so we had a bit of a shake 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 alrighty 
first one. We've got a uh, Josh Day. So you come on down, mate. You've taken out the first prize, which is the Penrite Wheel Cleaner. So chuck him out. Second one. Alrighty. We've got a uh, KJ Warrington, mate. You've taken out the stubby caller. Come on down and grab it, mate. This week's uh, scare off for now. Next week, what, what is that? There's a beach towel. Beach towel. Yep. So we got our first prize next week. We have got a beach towel, and we have got a Bluetooth uh, capsule speaker. So yeah, so first prize next week's pretty awesome, guys. So jump on next week's Ask Um Also, this weekend at Auto One Brown Twain's, we've got our second prize. Newlon. Uh, we got a. Got 30% off the whole new line, new line range, so it's store stock only, guys. So come on down and get your oils and additives, mate. This week, 30% off is really good saving. So yeah, come on down and get your new line. Alrighty, so uh, that finishes off uh, this week's uh, Ask Our episode six. Thanks, guys, for watching in.